pixel art. You gotta love it. And it's even better when it's animated, because then it's like, takes you back to the early 90s of Super Nintendo and all that goodness. Uh, Game Boy Color, eventually. You know, sometimes it's referred to as 8-bit art, but technically, you know, I think the 8-bit palette would have been more limited and with some uglier colors, so let's call this 16-bit. And uh, this is my process for creating animations like this. So once you have your characters designed, you can see mine up in the left-hand corner there, you can do rough animation. And you can see I'm using uh, some lighter colors for the, the front limbs, just so I don't get them mixed up with the back arm or uh, back leg. And this way I can do rough animation. This is something that just wasn't possible back in the day. So we can create more fluid animation. Otherwise, you know, with some of the best um, pixel animated 8-bit, 16-bit games back in the day, you would have traditional animators drawing on paper, flipping through, and then they would give those final keyframes to the digital artist to create 8-bit over the top of. And from as far as I know, they didn't have tools where they could scrub across and see how well it was animating on the fly like this. They just had to trust that it would, would look good, put it in their sprite sheet, um, run it through their sprite sheet player, and then go back and forth and make edits. But this is so nice because, as you can see, I'm scrubbing through the animation, making some changes. Um, I'll do a quick play blast here and there. And uh, once I'm happy with the overall uh, animation, the motion, the, the movement of the character uh, with these, you know, just using these two colors, I'll go in down the road here and focus on adding the correct colors. You can see right now, I'm using another color, an orange, to represent a gun that the character is picking up off of the ground. And this is just, for the most part, straight ahead animation. I didn't plan it out. Um, just knew that I wanted to get this character moving and discovering along the way what it is I want the character to do. I've got onion skin enabled, and that's down there in the bottom right hand corner, that yellow icon. You can toggle that on or off. And then up in the top left of the screen, there's uh, some settings. So you can dial in uh, the onion skin settings. Do you want a certain opacity? How many frames before and after? Do you want it to show? And uh, do you want it to be the actual colors? Or you can use uh, greens and reds the overlays to help you distinguish it from you know what you're what you're drawing it's all about preference and they're giving you a lot of great uh, tools here if I haven't mentioned yet I'm using Pixaki P-I-X-A-K-I on the iPad to create these uh, pixel illustrations and animation I love that app could uh, get lost in the sauce with it uh, all day long, I tell you what. <laughs> so, by far, by far, the best pixel art and animation app I've ever found. So check that out. And you can play with different layers. You can even do opacity on the layers, which you'll see me uh, integrate down the road um, you know at least in the final animation you'll see like the smoke is is done on a 50% layer so that it reacts to the colors and objects behind it and looks like uh, well right I want to 
transparent. And then you can export it out and have all the goodness that you want. So as you can see right here, I'm using the color picker to, to pick the colors from the previous keyframe and then, you know, flipping the frames back and forth as I color um, the character for red colors. And right now I've got uh, onion skinning off because I found that that was kind of um, distracting as I was trying to apply color so it was easier for me to just flip back and forth and get a feel for does it feel like it's still moving nicely? Is this where these colors would be? Because I'm having to add my own highlights and you know I'm being kind of subjective on where those highlights go you know and it's more about being able to read the character and the different parts of the character as opposed to being um, physically accurate and, and that's one of those things that you can you can cheat in the world of art and animation is you know get your lighting generally correct but then use it as a tool to help your illustration drawing character whatever you want to call it uh, read that much better so in the end that is the process and then I just repeat it you know you add more frames do some rough animation come back over with the color you can do all your rough animation first or kind of get a certain distance then add color um, you'll see the right now I'm just working on the one character and having her uh, run and then pick up the gun and then the final animation includes a static background which you can tell a layer to be static just by right clicking on it or the equivalent in uh, on the iPad I don't remember <laughs> you'll figure it out bring up that menu tell it to make it uh, static and then it will act as just a still image in the background and you only have to draw it once rather than drawing the background on every frame which would be not smart and then, um, you know, I debated on whether I should record myself doing the animation of the tank, um, and maybe I should have, but it was relatively easy because I just used the static tank, moved it a couple of pixels <coughs> along with every frame, and then um, had to go back and readjust it because maybe it went farther across the screen than I thought, so I would keep pushing it back pixels but it was a pretty quick process because I wasn't even using the drawing tools with 99% of the tank I was just placing it on there moving it and once I got it consistently moving in the right direction then I toggled every frame with the tread you'll see the little highlights on the tread I just inverse those on each frame and then that gave it the illusion that the, the treads are moving and then I also, on a, every other frame, had the, the turret go up, uh, I think just one pixel. So you can see it in this final animation. Hope, hope this helped. Till next time, create or die.